Hello everyone, welcome to Tea and Banter with me. It's me, Mary Elizabeth. Hope everyone's doing well. Um, I am sitting in my yard um, before it gets too hot and having my tea, so I thought I would have you join me. Um, and I am going to work on some of my circles that I talked about in a previous video. I'm trying to um, hopefully get that accomplished because I have created or identified I should say I'm sorry I'm making my tea um, two more projects that I want to do um, so the first one is it's called um, the granny go round jumper by iron lamb um, it is a paid pattern on Ravelry, but I absolutely love it. Um, don't know if you can see that really well. Um, can I make this when half the time I can't get my stitches to come out right, <laughs> all my blankets to come out right, and I don't think I can read a pattern? Who knows, but I love it, so I'm going to try it and see what happens, and maybe... Um, I don't think there's a tutorial on um, YouTube or anything for it, but you don't learn unless you try, right? I mean, it's a little scary. It's a little daunting for me. Um, you know, it has charts and patterns. Um, but the thing that I like about this, too, is that it um, does go to plus sizes. Um, I'm trying to see how large she goes up to. I think um, 4X, I believe. Yes. Um, so the pattern goes up to 4X. Um, and she gives you the measurements and things like that for it. So um, I'm always really impressed when I see that. I know it's a lot of work for a designer to do um, and so I appreciate that and the patent is reasonable I think it was five or six dollars for the patent um, which for all the hard work is absolutely reasonable um, and being that I am unfortunately a plus size girl um, and I am um, pear shaped I guess because I'm much bigger on the bottom than I am on the top that sometimes I need an even larger size um, because of the um, proportion of my body. So um, I was very happy to find this. Now, if I can make it, that would be lovely, but we'll see. We saw how in a previous video, my poncho came out um, <laughs> with a couple of errors, but overall um, good. So I am proud of that. Um, and then the other um, project I would like to do is by Sandra Paul. Um, she has a YouTube channel, Cherry Heart, um, and that is the um, Battenberg blanket. I don't know if you can see that really well, but that just is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I would love to make this for myself. Um, it is, I'm trying to see, there are tutorials for this, so that hopefully will be a um, better choice for me, even though, you know, again, um, the instructions are clear on the patterns. I don't want anyone to think it's um, the creators. It's not, it's me. So please don't go by my um, trepidation or my finished product to say, um, that this is a good pattern or a bad pattern um, because it has nothing to do with that. Um, I'm trying to think of what's what yarn she used. Oh, oh okay. Yes, she used 100% um, merino yarn, which is what I want to use, um, which I don't have a lot of. But what I'm thinking is... Um, this will be a long-term project and I will buy um, um, 
Merino will. Merino will. Oh my goodness. See what happens when you don't have your tea first thing. Um, merino wool um, as I go along and the colors that I like um, to make this I'll just take my time um, but because I just really love this and I think she did yeah it looks like she does solid and variegated um, yarn along with the main color um, I hope you can see that well. Um, so that's what I want to do. I'm sure some of you already know this and probably have made a million of these, but I really like it. Um, and it's so funny because I found this after um, one of Felicia and I tea parties because I was looking up the... Um, Battenberg cake because I wanted to do that for a tea party um, which we haven't done yet so um, maybe I'll incorporate both things in a video at the same time so you can see both messes <laughs> instead of just one but <laughs> we'll see what happens um, and don't forget I also have two other projects that I would like to start which is um, both of them are from um, a failure talks which is the Netflix blanket and the Lizzie blanket so I think that um, the three projects I have going on now I would like to try to finish up and or DNF if and DNF isn't even I'm thinking about books when I say DNF um, because my mind goes and I just want to start all these projects which becomes a problem and I think that um, YouTube is a problem um, and I don't know what to do about that and here's why um, there are so many great youtubers out there whether it's books yarn you know video whatever it is there are amazing youtubers out there and um, one of the ways they're successful is by you subscribing you liking you watching the videos so um, I always want to support the youtubers that I, I like and I and I watch uh, the problem becomes is there's so many of them and it can take a big chunk of your time and yes I could um, let it just play through I guess but I don't want to miss out on the content because the content's really good and I'm certainly not going to like and subscribe to someone that I'm not interested in watching so you know that doesn't work um, but then what happens is I've I'm not good enough crochet to always crochet when I'm watching because I'm either missing out on what the person's teaching or I'm so busy listening that I'm not counting and checking the way I should or I think I am and I'm not. Um, and then the final big issue is I find I want to do everything that they're doing. And my ADD is saying do it now, do it now, do it now. You know, in even like the um, crochet alongs, um, I would love to do the knit alongs, but I don't know how to knit. Um, but the crochet alongs, I'm always like a year or two behind everybody else because I'm either finding new things or stuck on what I'm doing. So I don't know. I'm all over the place. Um, and then in addition to that, I stupidly decided that I could do a YouTube channel. Um, with no expertise, um, but a desire to um, leave something behind and also find people who like the same things that I do because that has always been a struggle. Um, like my family always tells me, things that I like are boring, that it's not things that they're interested in, and they don't mean that mean-spiritedly, they just mean, you know... Um, they can find people who like their activities a lot quicker than I can find people who like my activities. So, you know, it is what it is. 
but sometimes, you know, you would like to talk to people who do the, like the same things that you do, um, maybe share um, what works, what doesn't work, you know, that support when you can't figure out what the heck you did wrong, um, but someone else might be in your community that can help you. So that's always good. Um, so yeah, so then you add that you're trying to do a YouTube channel on top of wanting to um, legitimately support other YouTubers that deserve your support. Um, because make no mistake, they are working really hard um, to create a, a channel that's um, not just to be on YouTube, but to give you value. And um, so how do you just flimsily not, not support that? Um, I know I can't do that. So, so that happens. And then you think you have a set amount of people and then another person pops up on YouTube that maybe does it a little differently or um, just adds a special more, you know, special more touch or does it a little slower or, you know, gives um, an alternative to get the same result that might work better for you. So you, you naturally follow that person too. So, um, and then on top of that, you find YouTubers that you end up liking and following and subscribing to because they've introduced you to something you might not have even been aware of. You um, might have said, oh, I've always thought of that, but didn't know how to do it or, you know, whatever the case may be. And now you're intrigued and you're adding to your list of things that you like to do and want to do and all of that. So, yeah, I don't know. Do you does that make sense to anyone out there? Because <laughs> it probably doesn't make sense to, to many people. Certainly not in my little circle of the world. Um, I don't know. I just, I just think that um, how do you divvy up that time? It's so difficult. What I tend to do is try to not watch everyone and then do um, kind of a catch up. Now, I don't know, does that affect a YouTuber? It might, and I apologize if that's the case because I certainly don't want anyone, not that I'm all end all be all, but if my like is, you know, the one like that, you know, gives them their monetary gain for the month or whatever the case may be, I don't really know anything about that but then am I hurting that youtuber because I might not be able to watch you know um oh what is her name my precious yannery or um omg granny I think her name is she's um in South Africa um but the, anyway, there are two that I do watch, um, but if so say I don't watch them this week and they've put out three videos, then I try to catch up on them the following week. Does that, does that make sense? But I don't know. So if that's, so if last week was the end of the month and then this week's the beginning of the month, does that affect them monetarily? And I don't know, and I certainly, like, like I said, I'm not end all be all, but I would hate to think if, if it was that one um, watch or one like that meant them receiving benefits, then I feel really bad. Um, but on the other hand, I don't know how else to do it while still maintaining sanity over what I need to do in life and also enjoy what not that I don't enjoy them, I do. That's that's the problem. Um, and I'm not a big television watcher. I'm not... I think the problem with YouTube is it's not a question of being 
um, addicted to technology or television or anything like that. The addiction is learning um, and having people out there that, you know, know they, they might not, have, they don't have a doctorate. They don't, you know, have big mogul businesses, all of them, um, at least not for what my interests are. Anyway, I'm sure they're, they're out there and they're just as lovely as in, important. But my point is, is that you get community, you get friendship, and you get learning and all different styles of learning, um, all different ways of doing something that gets you to the same result, which is part of my issues with school systems. So, but that's a whole nother bag of worms. Um, I won't get into that in this video. Um, but everyone's an individual and learns at their own pace and at their own, you know, um, I'll use a, the example again of my circles with um, Krista from The Secret Yarnery. Um, in order to learn how to do this circle, I watched her tutorial twice. I then probably watched it 20 more times and paused it every step of the way 20 times um, in order to get it. Um, you know, learning something that's not always the way you can do it. The, the way you have to learn something is you've got a deadline, you, you have to do it, you, you know, you then get the test and you have to do it right or whatever, where learning on YouTube is you do it until you get it or you don't get it, you, you know, but it's just a satisfying way to learn. And I think that that's what I'm addicted to. Is just learning and learning what's out there and learning all the things you can do and I don't know I, it's just a wealth of information and I use it with my grandson in homeschooling um, there's so much that I use YouTube for for him as a support to lessons that he needs to learn and oftentimes it's way better than the books that are out there than um, you know sitting there trying to do something like sometimes it's just way better and so um which really isn't the right way to say that I know um but I know I'm rambling and you're saying lady shut up and that's what I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna go back to working on my circle and enjoying um my yard and being outside and um yeah, I hope you all have a great day. Um, I hope you all learn something. And if you have um, any comments or participation in the video, please feel free. I look forward to reading them. And until next time, I hope that you are all safe and I hope that you're all loved. Bye.